What's your name, little one? Beans. Y'all never seen beans in my face. <laughs> Suck it, bitch. God damn, not again. Hello, fellas. Welcome to the most hype, basic, bonus editing tutorial on Premiere Pro. So let me just start by saying it's my birthday and we had 200 subs. So thank you guys for that. Anyway, without further ado, let's do this. Welcome to Premiere Pro. So today I'm going to show you normies how to edit funny gaming videos completely from scratch. Well, the way I edit them. So what I'll do is I'll break the video down into simple steps and near the end I'll get onto some effects that I'll commonly use. Alright, let's go on to step one. So I imagine that you already have the clips you want to use. If not, get OBS and record some s so firstly, you want to drag your clips into Premiere Pro, or if you have one monitor, click on the file at the top, go to import, and find the video there. After you have done this, drag it into the timeline area thing here. This, this thing, yeah. Look at that, you're already becoming a Premiere Pro. <laughs> Kill me. All right, after that, you want to plan how to do this video. For example, do you want it all about intense edits? Do you want commentary? Do you want a bit of both? Like me. Or do you even want to edit? If so, click render, and I'll see you later. I'm joking. Anyway, so now we want to cut out the best parts of the footage so we can start editing. So if you click C, you notice how the wrist slicer 9000 has appeared. So this lets you chop clips and audio. So we want to use this to cut out the cool clips and then we can delete the crap ones. So once you have your good clip, highlight over the bad ones and click delete. No, don't do it! <laughs> then go back to V and your regular cursor should appear. So now that we have done this and you've got the clips we want to use, now you can move on to step two. Fuck that! <laughs> So now that we know how to cut and move clips, let's learn some basic editing techniques. <coughs> so if you click on the clip and then go into the editing tab at the top, you can see a load of different options. So to break it down simply, motion makes the image move and get bigger and smaller. I don't know what rotation does. Opacity makes the image more transparent and f the rest. Now this is where it can get confusing for a lot of new people. I legit got an aneurysm from this. The stopwatches allow your video effects to change throughout the clips. For example, if I select the stopwatch at the start of the clip whilst the rotation is zero, and then skip forward a couple of seconds and move it like a bajillion times, it will spin a lot. So using stopwatches is the bread and butter of editing, really. You know, the Cree de la crop. The rocket with the cash. Anyway, with this out of the way, and hopefully you know how you want to edit your video, we can move on to the more fun steps. Alright, now this is where it starts getting fun, because now we're going to start importing some green screens and having a bit of fun with it. So it's pretty simple to use a green screen. Step 1, you go onto YouTube and you find a green screen of whatever you want. Step 2, you download that green screen using an MP3 converter or a 4K video downloader. Thanks mate. Once you've done that, drag it into your Premiere and then search for Ultra Key in the bottom left under Effects. Drag the Ultra Key onto the clip and then click that little thermometer. Yes, it's a, I think it's a thermometer. <laughs> and then select the green and there you go you've got a, yourself a green screen now in every single one of my videos i've downloaded at least one green screen or sound effect so by using mp3 and 4 converters you can download whatever sound effects songs green screens or effects straight from youtube just make sure that the songs are non-copyrighted you're good for nothing shady bastard so hopefully you should have a metric sh ton of crap you downloaded so let's move on to step fear gafan Alrighty boys, I'm gonna make this one more straightforward than the rest. <clears throat> Step 1, drag the file into Premiere. Step 2, cut out the parts you actually need. Step 3, drag the file into the timeline where it needs to be. Step 4, change the effect to how you like using the editing tab. To be honest, I don't even know what video I'm making anymore, so I'm just gonna share some effects that I do in my video. Text on the screen. So to add text on the screen, press Ctrl T and there you go. Good job. <laughs> Underneath the video effects, you can customize the text by adding shadow, color, more layers, and do practically whatever you want to it. If you guys are adding voice lines or in-game chat into your videos, I highly recommend using it, as it looks a lot nicer for your viewers. <laughs> reverb is ace because it makes something awkward sound less awkward. So to add reverb, cut out your sound clip and go to editing. Then go into the search bar under effects and type in reverb. I usually use this one. Drag that on the sound clip and click edit. Now you can use whatever reverb effect here, but I'm gonna go with Church Hall because it sounds the most reverby. High pass and low pass. High pass and low pass are cool because one makes you sound like you're coming from a radio and the other one makes you sound like you're in a nightclub. So to do this, you're practically doing the same as the last effect. Just find it in the search bar and drag it onto the clip and mess around with it until it sounds nice. 
anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that abomination of a video and found some of it useful. All I can say is have fun of editing and do whatever the hell you want with it. Anyway, if you enjoyed, feel free to smash the child button and subscribe and I'll see you later, fellas. Yeah.